Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Good morning. As Priscilla would say, salutations. <laughs> I'm gonna have a sip of this tea, okay? So we're gonna get into the tea of some fragrances today. We're gonna be talking about summer fresh fragrances today. These are all citrusy, warm, spicy, fresh, spicy, aromatic, aquatic, ozonic. Like all of these are amazing fragrances. Some of them have very similar notes um, and they some of them smell very similar as well. So if you are interested in what I'm going to be talking about today, then please continue to watch follow like subscribe you know leave me a comment you know um if you are interested in some of these or what's your favorite uh fresh summer fragrances i've seen some other videos um that discuss those things as well uh, but if you're new to my channel you know please make sure that you subscribe and go follow me on instagram so without further ado we're going to get into some of these summer fresh fragrances it's a beautiful day outside y'all it's going to be about 80 degrees you know the the country the climate well not the country because there are other parts of the country that are freezing um in the united states it is pretty much attempting to warm up um and this is considered our summer so um the world has been changing you know drastically even with the weather um uh, but yeah we're headed towards some sunshine hopefully um i've been a little under the weather don't worry it's not covid <laughs> or covid related you know just a little bit of um congestion nasal congestion and a, like a head cold uh but it's just like work i'm happy to be back happy to you know be filming again you know i missed you all i missed i know it doesn't seem like i've been gone for a long time but a couple of days for me is good <laughs> it's just like work you know when i go on vacation you know um i'm ready to get back to work i'm ready to you know uh, make the world go around and start revolving and changing lives and things like that so you know when you love something and you're really interested um, and doing things and it's just not something that you're doing just because other people are doing it you're really involved you know you want to um, continue to um, you know just promote goodness in life basically you know so anyway enough preaching let's get into these summer fresh fragrances I hope you all don't mind if I take a sip of tea um, this is Moroccan mint tea uh, that I got over in Morocco oh in my cup I got this cup from Cartagena. It's just a cute little cup. Everywhere that I travel, I try to pick up mugs, you know, or I do get a mug or two from the places that I travel to. You know, it just reminds me of when, I, when I'm having my tea or coffee in the morning. Um, just brings back memories, y'all. So anyway, let's get into our very first summer fresh fragrance. So um, this is Michael Malone London amazing house you know i'm not sure if this is considered a niche house or an indie house absolutely love his bottles he has um atara which is a stunning black currant fragrance um there's also electric heart delicious um it has freesia inside i love the note of freesia this baby right here such a beautiful bottle you know a piece of art the woody top you know very stunning fragrance oh this is a very fresh fragrance y'all um so this is a 100 ml bottle this is a, a fairly reasonable i think they run about 60 to 70 dollars maybe 50. uh but in this this is joy de ve i think that's how you pronounce it michael malal london joy de ve so in this you have your um lotus mandarin orange apple blossom you have violet you have magnolia jasmine and some woody notes this is absolutely amazing very fresh very there's some woodiness to this it's ozonic citrusy it's aromatic it's all that y'all there's some sweetness to this as well very good fragrance yes very um amazing summer fragrance you're getting those floral notes some sweetness you know this is really good i'm getting a um i think it's the apple blossom and the violet that gives it that little bit of sweetness but yeah this is an amazing fragrance a lot of people don't talk about this one too much but get your nose on this for the summer um you can purchase this on fragrantica or fragrance by you know um but yeah i love this fragrance and this is a to me it's a good blind buy it's just a sweet floral very fresh aromatic airy fragrance ozonic as well 
So next on the list, we have one of my favorite Aqua Allegorias. And, excuse me. <clears throat> Um, this is my second favorite, and this is Pamplaloon. Pamplaloon is a stunning fragrance. You know, out of all the Aqua Allegorias, I think this one's the smallest one. I don't know why it comes in this. I think this is a 50 or 70 ml bottle, but it's the same price as the other ones. I think this one's about $80, maybe even more. Um, so in this, you have, uh, you have grapefruit, tons and tons of sparkling citrusy grapefruit. You have bergamot, cassia, petite grain, vanilla, and neroli. You get a great, great burst of citrus grapefruit when you initially spray this. You know, yes, definitely that tangy, sort of sweet, um, citrusy grapefruit smell. Now this only lasts about four hours. Unfortunately, the Aqua Allegoria line lasts about only four hours, but you know, I don't mind taking a little small decan of this wherever I am and just kind of like spraying it. It's not a body spray. Um, it does last a little longer than that, but it's a very nice fragrance to just fresh it up and spray throughout the day. And that is Aqu Aqua Allegoria's Pamplaluna. The next we have my favorite of the line, and this is a uh, Guerlain's Aqua Allegoria Mandarin Basilique. Y'all, I l absolutely love this stuff. This was compared to one of the, um, whew, you just get that Mandarin orange. This was compared to one of the Louis Vuitton fragrances. I think it has something to do with beach and the, not beach walk, because that's Mason Margiela, but I think it has something to do with on the beach, something beach, uh, but um, Sebastian from Smelling Great Fragrances said that it was pretty much the exact same fragrances, almost a duplicate, and um, this was a more reasonable buy. I, I get that that orange and that citrus note is amazing, y'all. Um, there is basil inside. You don't, I don't really get that herbally basil note, but it is a very stunning, stunning, amazing fragrance for the summer. So in this, um, you have your, a lot of orange, you have your clementine, you have your bitter orange, orange blossom, green tea, mandarin orange, you have peony, basil, sandalwood, vanilla, and a couple other notes, y'all. So if you don't have this, um, you need to get your hands on it, especially for the summer. Uh, this, to me, if you like orange notes, this is a great blind buy. Like I said, I don't get too much of that herbally basil note in here. It's just a super huge blast of orange. And um, for me, this is a lifer. Um, I definitely need a backup bottle, but I do have a lot of the other citrusy fragrances. But if this one ran out, I would definitely, absolutely buy it again, y'all. This is uh, Aqua Allegoria's uh, Mandarin Basilique, Guerlain. So next we have Balda Freak. You know, everybody knows that Balda Freaks, uh, pretty much, they're not skin scents, but the, the performance is not as great. But you do get an amazing sillage on this. Even though it doesn't last long, the sillage is really good. Um, and ama an amazing, great summer fragrance. In Balda Freak, you have Tagetti's, you have Amalfi Lemon, which you get a lot of. You get that black currant in the opening. Um, you have bergamot, jasmine, vetiver, amber, and some patchouli. So this, you definitely get that vetiver. Um, like I said, you get that burst of uh, black currant. You get that Amalfi Lemon. Delicious, delicious fragrance. Unfortunately, doesn't last as long. But like I said, when it does, when it is on, the sillage is definitely amazing. Um, I got a couple compliments on this. I did spray this on my body and my clothing about 15 times, uh, which works. And you know, it's I've worn this at least four or five times. I've only had it for about three, about four months. Uh, but now that the sun is out, you know, it is an amazing time of the year. You know, this is definitely great for this time of the year. So, oh, to mention, um, also, if you don't have the funds for Balda Freak, because it is a pretty... Um, on the pricier side, then you can get Oriental Vetiver. Oriental Vetiver is inspired by Bal de Freak and is a really good fragrance. And it'll give you pretty much the same um, performance as Bal de Freak. Now, the lemon is not as, um, I get more of the vetiver and patchouli in here. The lemon is not as striking as Bal de Freak, but it's pretty much very, like 75% close to Bal de Freak. So this is by Dossier and this is Oriental Vetiver. So next we have Creed. 
So this is Creed Aventus for her. Um, I haven't done a dedicated review on this yet, but I've um, had this in a couple of other ones, so I might not do one. But um, this is a really great fragrance. Actually have this on as my scent of the day and in the dry down. You get that lemon, you get that patchouli, you know. Um, let's go ahead and read you the notes. Uh, so you have Creed Aventus for her, you have green apple, you have bergamot, patchouli, lemon, pink pepper, you have your violet, you have rose, sandalwoods, uh, styrax, black currant, peach, ylang ylang, amber, and everything else that you could think of. Um, so in that, it is really a great fragrance. Now, um, for me, Creed Aventus, based on the price, um, it should be a stunning fragrance because this small bottle retails at, I think, $425, $450 in most places. Um, you know, like I said, the cap is not that great. You know, the packaging could have been much better, but that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about what's inside this bottle, which is this yellow juice. So, um, yeah, this, the fragrance is good. Now, in the opening, Creed is amazing, okay, but in the dry down, it just pretty much is a dry down. So um, in the opening, you get that burst of green apple. You get the bergamot. Um, I think it, there's black, yeah, you get that black currant. Um, and it's not spicy. I don't get the pink pepper in, in here, but a lot of the times pink pepper is used to boost a lot of other fragrances. Um, so you do get that peach and, you know, the floral notes you do get, but I usually get a lot of black currant, um, some citrusy notes, floral notes, and the um, the pear in the beginning when I initially spray, um, and the green apple, sorry, in the beginning when I initially spray Creed Aventus for her. But like I said, after about an hour, you know, I, it's not a skin scent, but it really sits close to the skin. I'm gonna have to spray this on my clothes. Now, there's an alternative to Creed Aventus for her. And I absolutely love it, y'all. So uh, by Dossier again, you know, and this is, I think I spoke of this once before, but if you didn't hear it, here it is again. So this is uh, inspired by Creed Aventus for her. This is Fruity Oak Moss. I got a better performance, siage everything out of Fruity Oak Moss than I got out of Creed Aventus for her. Um, I'm definitely going to keep this fragrance because it's good, you know? And um, I'll, instead of wearing the Creed Aventus for her, since I paid so much money for it, you know, if I wanna wear something on a daily basis, I can just spray on my Fruity Oak Moss. I think this uh, bottle retails for about 25 or $35 based on how many you buy. So really great stuff. Fruity Oak Moss, Oak Moss, this is by Dossier, um, inspired by Creed Aventus for her. If you don't have the coins for Creed Aventus for her, I mean, you know, be a little smarter, you know, don't worry about getting that. Get Fruity Oak Moss, y'all. Dossier. So I actually purchased the um, Dossier Fruity Oak Moss first initially, um, and then I caught the Creed Aventus for her on sale for like 30, 35% off on, I think it was on Fragrance Buy. You know, I just so happened to go on there and I popped that in and I was like, oh my gosh, this is almost like half the price, you know, um, and it actually worked out. But, you know, it's just a comparison and it'll give you all different options. Um, so next we have Pacific Lime and this is by Atelier Cologne. So um, this is a really good fragrance. You get a lot of like a burst of lime and citrus in here. Yes, 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 definitely a lot of that sweet citrusy lime, an amazing, stunning fragrance for the summer. This lasts about four to six hours um, on your skin, on your clothes. I don't know, because I've usually sprayed this on my skin. Uh, this was a recent buy. I think I just bought this about a month ago, but I've been wearing it at least like once a week, and it's really good. Um, so in this, you have your, it's a citrus aromatic. Um, you have your lime, Italian lemon. You have your coconut, mint, and eucalyptus. You do get a slight um, mint and eucalyptus smell completely different. I don't get any minty notes in here. I think there's mint in like Flora Botanica. Um, that's a different, that's a mint, mint, like a spearmint smell. This you do get eucalyptus. I absolutely love, love, love eucalyptus. Um, it's so aroma, it's uh, like aromatherapy for me. Um, I actually put eucalyptus um, oil. When I go to work, I put that under my mask, you know, or I have some eucalyptus, um, 
not the oil, it's almost like a cream. And I put that under my nose just to help me breathe a little better. And you know, you don't get that mask smell. Um, but yeah, there's a, a tinge of eucalyptus in here. But this smells absolutely good. It does not smell anything like Flora Botanica. But in this, you get your lime, you get your coconut, and you get a lot of lemon. Delicious fragrance. So next we have our lovely Raja Dove. So this is a Raja Elixir. Um, this is one of my, out of the two Rajas that I do have, I do love Raja 51, but um, that one gives you a little more raspberry. This one is definitely more um, uh, summertime, uh, citrusy, aromatic, you know, very beautiful, very, very sparkling. This is a very sparkling fragrance. So in this, I'm not going to read you all the notes because everything is in this um, fragrance. You have your yellow florals, you have some rose, um, you have some sweet notes. Uh, it's very rosy. There's vanilla, ylang ylang, peach, you have your raspberry rose de mai, you have your oak moss, you have your orris, there's so, there's cinnamon in here, there's cloves in here. This is delicious, y'all. I'm gonna spray this on my skin. In the opening, um, I've worn this multiple times. You know, I actually wore this to the beach one day. Smelled amazing. In the opening, you do get that peach, the raspberry. Let me go ahead and smell my arm. Yes, you get the yellow florals, the peach, the raspberry, the jasmine. Very clean jasmine. You get, um, you can hear me breathing, huh? <laughs> My uh, nasal cavity is still a little inflamed. <laughs> so, but you definitely get the peach, raspberry, and the rose. I guess this rose de Mai has a different scent. Yeah, it's like a fresh, fresh rose. Absolutely stunning, stunning fragrance. Love this stuff. You know, um, if I ran out of this bottle, yes, I'm buying another one of Raja Dove's Elixir, y'all. Look at that. Stunning. The bottle's stunning, the juice is stunning, all of it. So next on the list, we have about another five more, if you can bear this and tolerate my voice. Um, I'm gonna take a sip of tea, please. So next we have our headless friend. Um, this is Moschino Toy 2. And, um, that, and I, every time I say headless, I think about the headless horseman, that Scooby-Doo uh, cartoon that I used to watch like back in the day. I don't know how many watched that, but it was one of the most disturbing cartoons. And I think it pretty much traumatized me in my childhood to watch Scooby-Doo's um, The Headless Horseman. So anyway, back to our headless teddy bear. So in this, this is Moschino Toy 2, a very fresh fragrance for the summer. That atomizer is stunning, y'all. I'm going to give me a head, okay? So don't worry. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys. <laughs> so in this, um, it's a floral woody um, aromatic fragrance. You have your... I smell it. So good. So good. So good. So good. So good. It's really good, y'all. So um, you have your... Even if you... Somebody told me that they took back their Creed Aventus and they got Moschino Toy 2, which is like... Like a third of the price, okay? I think you can get actually no, four fifty versus fifty sixty dollars, okay? Go figure, y'all. Um, so in this, you have your apple, your mandarin orange, you have your magnolia, white currant. I've never heard of white currant before. I'm gonna have to look that up. Peony, jasmine, sandalwood, amber, and some other notes. This is a good fragrance. Definitely, definitely, I would say a safe blind buy, okay? If you love your Citrusy. This is a very light, sparkling, uh, slightly sweet, citrusy, floral fragrance. So if you love those um, types of notes and um, you, you really get that apple, that fresh sparkling, like a Martinelli's, um, uh, the Martinelli's drink, that's what, when you pop it open, you get that sparkling, fresh apple. That's exactly what this smells like, y'all, on top of some floral notes and a little bit of citrus. So anyway, get ahead Get, no, don't get a headless. Get you a full body bear, okay? Mosquito toy too. Next, we have one that is okay, but it's great in the open, it's great in the dry down, sorry. In the opening, it's like, poom, pow, in your face, citrusy, 
you know, I need to dry down, but then it smells stunning, y'all. So after this, <laughs> so you have your bond number nine, beautiful bottle. Yeah, love the bottle. But I'm actually, like I said, um, this is going to my daughter. I just wanted to do a review on it first. And then I'll probably make me like a decan of it. And then I'm giving this to my daughter. So in this, you have um, your, this is Gold Coast. I'm sorry, bond number nine, Gold Coast. In this, you have your lychee. You have your red apple, French rose, apricot, watermelon. I'm such a watermelon head. Um, you have your musk, vanilla, and cedar. This is very good, very, very good. But in the opening, you get so many citrusy smells. And in the dry down, you get that fresh watermelon, you get the apricot. But in the opening, that lychee, uh, there's no rhubarb in here, it's just lychee. Yeah, it's like pow, in your face. Um, not, I guess, um, similar to the Delinas, you know. Yeah, you get the lychee off top in the front. Yeah, the red apple, the ro the French rose. Lychee, red apple, and French rose. That's what I'm getting in the beginning. Yeah, and in the dry down, like I said, you get that apricot, the vanilla, and the watermelon. But in the beginning, yeah, I'm just getting the lychee, the fresh rose. Yeah, I'm starting to get those, uh, like a scent of watermelon in here. But um, an amazing scent, y'all. Um, it's really, really good. But, you know, if you don't like lychee, then I would say stay away from Bond Number 9 Gold Coast. But I actually like it, you know. So next we have on the list is one of my favorites. Um, don't sleep on the House of Kayali. Um, this is Kayali Citrus 08, and this is an amazing spring summer fragrance. Definitely very citrusy. There are tons of notes in here, uh, but mainly it smells kind of like um, citrusy and sweet and a little bit of um, a rose rosiness. So in this you have your pink grapefruit, black currant, rhubarb, bergamot, pink pepper, Bulgarian rose, damask rose, oak moss, and tonka bean. I don't get any, any creaminess though from the tonka bean inside. Just don't mind that part. It fell off somehow. Kiali has the best atomizers, hands down. So yes, definitely you get that grapefruit, you get the rose, you get a little bit of the, um, the vanilla, the tonka bean. I'm getting a little tonka beany scent. This is an amazing fragrance, y'all. It doesn't last long though. You know, it lasts about maybe four hours on the skin. Um, maybe, maybe if you're depending on how much you spray, um, maybe four to six hours on the clothes or six hours on the clothing. Uh, but yeah, this is an amazing fragrance, you know? Absolutely love this Kaeli Citrus 08. Get your hands on it. Great for the summer. Uh, the next one we have is Mikalef. I have 12 of you all, okay? Um, this is the 20th, um, 20th year anniversary edition. This is a good fragrance. Um, I think I got this for half the price on the actual site. The thing would retail for $250, and I, I got it for about $100 or $125. A really great fragrance. Let's go ahead and spray it cute little bottle it came with another little mini miniature bottle on the side that kind of just annoyed me so I just took it off but it was cute you know this is good this is real good um, I don't wear this often but I'm definitely pulling this out for the summer so in this Yes, really good. In this, you have your exotic fruits, bergamot. You have your white rose, nutmeg, orange blossom, artemisia, jasmine, geranium, patchouli, caramel, vanilla, and white musk. You get like a lot of those fragrances, but it's blended so well and it's so good. You get that sweetness, that vanilla. You get the caramel. This almost reminds me of, but this is a, a little more floral, uh, the Linter D, Givenchy, the EDT. Almost reminds me of that. Um, you get, you definitely get a little bit of um, spicy creaminess from the nutmeg, the rose, the orange blossom. You know, exotic fruits. You get that indefinitely in the opening, the bergamot, all of that. 
y'all, if they still have this on sale on the site for half price, I recommend you blind buying this if you love fruity floral notes. Definitely a great spring summer scent. Definitely great for the summer. Um, this has a, a very good performance. Uh, the longevity on here is about six hours on the skin. Um, on the clothing, it's about eight to 10 hours. The sillage is good, projection's good, all of that. This is some good stuff. That's Martin Mikalev, 20 year um, edition. Last but not least, we have our baby. Everybody knows um, this is Team Trusardi over here. So this is a Donna Trusardi, the EDT. So in the EDT, oh, when I spray this, I'm, I'm gonna be in love all over again, y'all. In the EDT, you have yuzu, you have your melon, you have your citron, jasmine tea, orange blossom, lotus vanilla, sandalwood, cedar, and patchouli. So let's get into it. I have a lot of energy, maybe because I've been laying in the bed for the past three days. <laughs> but I really feel like I have a lot of energy today, y'all. Hmm. Definitely, that yuzu is something special, y'all. Yuzu all day. Yuzu, lemon, melon. You get those, um, uh, like I said, not the red water melon, but you get the cantaloupe, the honeydew melon. That's what I smell in this. Yuzu citrus green honeydew melon. Delicious stuff. You know, on top of a slight jasmine, uh, a tea note in here, like a white tea or something. Um, but this is good. It's not a green tea, not a black tea. Smells like a, like a baby white tea. Definitely, definitely an amazing fragrance. Very um, affordable. I think this is about $50. Um, the regular one, the original Donna Trusardi has that creaminess to it. Um, it's a little more in your face. Um, as, um, it's a good type of in your face, um, but it's a stunning, stunning fragrance, a must have. Trusardi across the board is a must have. The original Donna EDP, or Trusardi EDT, definitely, if you don't like that creaminess, um, get this one. Definitely amazing for the summer, y'all. So that is it. I hope you all have enjoyed my summer citrus sparkling fragrances. Um, I'm going to throw another one at you in just a moment. I'm going to do um, maybe like a tropical, uh, more of like a sweetie, a thick, super sweet uh, tropical summer fragrances. So be looking out for that one. Have an amazing day, everybody. Go out to the world, spread amazing siage. Do good, be good, and you know, just live life, everybody. All right, bye-bye.